Hi guys, it's another beautiful day for all of us once again and you're here back at Dexter's World Channel. Today we're gonna talk about how to breed these tiger barbs. Well, I am also very fascinated about barbs. Well, we have the rossy barbs, the tiger barbs, and also the zebras, the danios. These fish are really very easy to breed if you only know the techniques on how to breed them. Well, I have here breeders of tiger barbs and they are around 25 of them. I also have some breeders here inside and these breeders are mixed there are male there are female and the female are already pregnant that's why I have to breed them now I've been breeding this kind of fish how many years back and since many of those who view the world videos our channel asked me how to breed this one well we will give a tutorial on how to breed this fish I have to put this fish here inside in this box you know this plastic container has a net that is made of nylon and the purpose of this is to trap the parents to preclude them from eating their eggs because tiger barbs are really known to be egg eaters and you will not be able to produce them if they are just placed in the common tongue and they are not being trapped because every time they laid eggs they will really eat that eggs immediately so you will see here that I have this trap and I also made a floater so that this will not sink and the breeders are just right here. They cannot go outside in this aquarium. Then the next thing to do is that we will put some plants. These plants will induce the breeders to spawn their eggs. We will place this one on top and these plants will also give them some comfort. The moment that you place the plants, they will feel their natural habitat and they will feel secured. And every dawn, they will lay eggs. I said every dawn because I have so many breeders and they really like to spawn at dawn. Just like the koi and the goldfish. The plants also will be placed at the bottom of this trap because this plant will become the egg collector. We will place this one here and maybe we can just put some weight for this plants to just settle under this trap. Well, I have to get the Japanese koi because the fingerling of Japanese koi is here. This is a problem. I have one Japanese koi over here that it has to be removed because this will become the predator also of the eggs. Now, how many days does the egg hatch? Well, after three days, the eggs that had been laid by these breeders will be hatched depending upon the temperature, but the maximum is five days. And after five days, if you will see that there are some wigglers that are freely swimming down below, that's the time that we will remove all the breeders and transfer them in another tank or in another aquarium. And these wigglers will be fed with live food until 10 days. And after 10 days, if they can already eat the commercial food, then that's the time that you will start giving the commercial food but I would suggest that this wigglers will be given artemia or brain shrimps and if you have dapnia it is far more better so you can just get your dapnia in the sewage in the canals or in the rice field now come on let us have an update about our aquaponics
So guys, we have some seedlings of lettuce, pechay, and even mostaza. And I am so proud to tell you that it is quite successful. From the time that we made this box, that was actually how many days ago, these were just very small plants. But now they are very big. And you will see that there are some seedlings that are being taken care of intensively. And these seedlings will become our test how to go about this aquaponic things. Well, I am not sure actually how to go about these things, but we will learn together. As you can see here, these plants are already getting stronger and they're getting big now. And you will see their leaves are really fat and I am so excited to wait for the outcome of this because I promise you that we will learn together about aquaponics and this pan is filled also with the fry of fish we have here plenty of calico fry so the water will just come up and then pass through the filter bags and they will drip down over this box but filled with vegetables you will see that the fry of our shubun king are here and there are plenty of them I estimated this to reach around 1,000 pieces of shubun king and you will note that the water became very clear because of the bags that are filled with stones and of course the roots are also helping us to filter the water so you look at this one and I have some lettuce and we will also adapt the system the aquaponic system by means of using the PVC pipe so that's the thing that we can expect well maybe you will ask about Berto Berto is already well the wife Delia is so well now and we are expecting him to really get back his health I mean to be free from sickness free from malnutrition and because of your health guys so we will have an update about Berton next week in the next video and I'd like also to share about our breeding of this tube effects work you will see that this bucket is filled with stones and if you will ask how to fabricate this one well we have a video on this and I will provide the link below inside in this filter bucket we have so many worms these are the tube effects work and they are just driving in this stones you see this one they are already propagating very fast so quickly and under this bucket are the tube effects worm they are eating the waste of the fish and they also help in controlling the bad bacteria so this is the cycle the water will just come up and then of course go back to the tank already filtered with the help of this tube effects worm so the tube effects worm are getting food out of the waste of the fish that are in this bucket so if you are having problems about live food you can adapt the method on how to do these things of course I have here some exhaust pipe you can just open this one if the water is really very dirty you can just open that one just like that you will be assured that all the dirt the bad bacteria that are settled down below will be released outside so the worms are really helping if you would like to get all the worms of course you will wake up at five o'clock in the morning and they are all gathered on the top of this tank every morning you can gather this one they are really growing fast and multiplying very fast if you are going to adapt this method so no problem about live food no problem about where do you get your tube effects worm you can just get some starter and then place them at the top of your filter bucket they are very easy to multiply 
you don't anymore need to feed them with whatever kind of food because they are already sustaining and getting food out of the waste of the pan so that's the thing that we can share with you guys I hope you will continue to like and share our videos and I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to our channel if you are new to our channel please hit that notification bell after you subscribe so that you will be notified of our upcoming videos only here at Dexter's World <laughs>